Hello guys and gals, I'm me Alex and welcome back to another Sunday Scam Day. Hope you guys are having a beautiful, wonderful Sunday afternoon. I know I am because it just rained like hell and it's beautifully sunny outside. Um, welcome to Florida, am I right? But ladies and gentlemen, today's scam is going to be a little bit more serious than the, the one that we did look at last week. Last week's video was a little bit, you know, easing us into the... Uh, to understanding how some scams come in different, you know, ways and forms, especially with emails. But today, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be looking at a scam that comes on your text messages. Now, I'm going to take you guys into the other room over there. Um, no specific reason is because I did a recording inside there. A little change of scenery. But um, with that being said, let's go right into that and uh, let's, let's get down to what uh, dirty little scams we have uh, in store for us. And now we're in the other room. Ladies and gentlemen, I need to put a quick little disclaimer for you guys just so we can understand things a little bit more simplistically. Uh, something doesn't necessarily put you in fear. The reason why I need to make this disclaimer is we want you to be safe. Obviously, we don't want you getting yourselves hurt. We don't want you getting involved in anything too serious. Scams, like I said, they're there to scam people out of their money. They're there to screw people over at the end of the day. So the, the next person can make a quick buck off of you. This circumstance, please, I beg of you, do not be fearful of it. Yes, there are allegations to where it should be taken kind of seriously of how to deal with it. That's the how to deal with it stage of this video. We will get to that in a minute. But regardlessly, do not be afraid of parents, especially uh, adults, children, anybody watching this sort of video. Please, 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 I beg you, don't uh, don't freak out. I, I beg you, especially parents. I know how we they get with uh, their kids' phones and who's texting them and whatnot. I understand that. Uh, I'm not a parent myself, but I can definitely tell if my child was definitely watch, uh, you know, texting whoever it was, I'd be a little bit concerned myself. But regardless, please, if this sort of situation does come up, just talk to your kids about it. Don't snatch their phone. I'm sure that will become a trust issue down the road. Again, just a disclaimer. Want you to guys be safe out there and obviously enjoy your texting while it, uh, while it's, you know, it, it basically how we communicate with each other in a second form of the most fabulous way possible. But ladies and gentlemen, with the disclaimer out of the way, let's get right into this. So what this video is going to be talking all about is a text message that gets sent to phones in general, primarily women. And I've seen it more towards women in general. Occasionally, one or two times I've ever seen men being sent this sort of thing. Um, I can't tell you directly what type of software they use in this sort of circumstance, but we'll get into it. So what would happen is you'll be sent a text. Uh, this is the one I've seen. They come in different forms, but I'm just giving you guys an example of the one I've seen. So what would happen is you will get a text message from a certain number. What would happen is they will send you saying, oh, you've been, you've got a like, or someone commented on your photo, or something to get you like a notification standard, what you would get on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, all these sort of things, something to get you your mind attached to it saying, oh, who did, who, who liked my photo? Why isn't that not being sent to my app? That's weird. So it obligates you to click on the link. It gets you curious. That's where a lot of these scams come into play. So what would happen is when you, after you get, uh, click on this link, what would happen is it will send a small little encrypted file. It's so small that when it's downloaded, it actually downloads itself in the background where before the time you can actually catch it and see, hey, something's been downloaded into my download folder or so called. Um, it's already been Im implemented and it fires itself off for automatically when connecting to your network connection. So let's backtrack a little bit. So when, going back to the text message, when it gives you that notification saying somebody wants to contact you or so, well, what happened is it usually will give you two links. Now, the two links being one is for Android and one is for Apple products. Primarily, that's where most of these phones are these days. Now, I don't know anybody that uses a Microsoft phone anymore, but hey, if you do, leave a comment down below. Aside from all of that, um, so now fast forwarding up to where we are at this current stage, after what has been downloaded, the software essentially pings off as a locationer. Now what that locationer does, it works as a GPS tracker. You know how when you use your GPS, it knows where your location is and to where your destination will be? Well, in this circumstance, yes, that's kind of like what it will do, but it's pinging off your location where your phone is. Essentially, all our phones work on that same sort of network um, when it comes down to, you know, finding certain people or you know hunt uh, you know trying to locate somebody half the time you can do that just do um locating them through a phone 
Uh, I know the FBI uses that a lot, tactic a lot, NSA, uh, a lot of, you know, higher ups in the government do, do that sort of stuff. But regardless, we're going to get into what happens. So well, what would happen is it would ping off your phone and the user, whoever sent it, usually has a track phone. It's one of those junker type of phones that costs no more than like 20 something dollars, depending on your area. They can be easily thrown away. But when they have the location of where that phone is now, again, this is where the disclaimer comes into play. This comes into the human trafficking where I live. This issue has been going on for it's been going on on and off, but recently it's had a major uprise and it's getting a little too intensive now these days where essentially when you click on these links, people will go to the user's house, kidnap them, sell them off to human trafficking. Now, understandably, I know we joke a lot on this channel, um, primarily it's about gaming and all that sort of stuff. This sort of thing is not a joking matter. Human trafficking is a serious obligation that's been going on for years now and especially it's like almost 17,000 people are kidnapped almost a year or in human trafficking it's it's a serious matter for those that don't know what human trafficking is um essentially it's like a slave trade essentially for uh or the black market where they'll kidnap uh people uh ladies primarily even men don't get us wrong there but um what happened they'll sell them on the market for different reasons for primarily uh sex slaves um for uh what is it? Uh, I forgot what it's not human trafficking. It's for labor, all those sort of things, essentially using as a selling people as a slave. Now, with all that out of the way, that's essentially how those scams would work. Now, how to deal with a certain circumstance? Well, it's quite simple. Don't respond back to those messages. You can simply just delete them. The user can only send certain things to a number without having it responded to. Again, for those that want to troll these sort of circumstances, there are ways to go about it. You can make junker phones. You can make a response to the phone on a, I don't know, a, a tablet or so. Something, something that doesn't trace back to your network preference or um, to your actual phone number. Those sort of things, one way or the other, you're going to have to turn that phone back on one way or the other. You can wipe it all out clean, which usually will help. That is also your second alternative to wipe out your phone completely clean. But then again, you do sacrifice the circumstance of that software still being active. Just like all apps, they all need to run off a network system. Um, especially when you download, let's say, you know, when you were playing Bejeweled, they need to run off your network because they need to know essentially um, your time and place, the microtransactions, all that sort of stuff in order for it to run more smoothly. And that's understandable. They have permissions from the actual, um, what is it, uh, from the, the store, essentially like the Play Store or the App Store. Regardlessly, it's, it, it has to go through certain allegations in order to be put on there. And it's trustable. That's understandable. We'll actually be taking a look at those kind of scams later down the road. But as of now, ladies and gentlemen, essentially, be mindful when you click on these things. Like I said, there are other ones that how this works in the human trafficking system, but this is something that's been going on in my area specifically. Now, it comes in different forms and factors, like I've said before in the past. Well, what happened is with these sort of things, it would be able to, like if those text messages, for instance, they will start sending you more ads. A lot of those times, that's very, very minimal. I've seen um, when you respond back to those kind of scams, like say stop or so, they will constantly keep sending you advertisements and advertisements. And it comes down to being like malwares. Um, it's, it's trying to get a clickbaity kind of deal. And it's just trying to get you to, you know, give up some sort of information. And believe it or not, your phone does play a massive role of how your, um, your, your privacy identification system works. Yes, your numbers all trace back to, you know, a certain user and, you know, not everyone has the same specific number. I get spam callers all the time and that's understandable. Now, when a number calls you and they don't answer, that's for a different video. I'm going to have to cover that in a little bit more of a detailed process. I know there's a lot of users out there saying, oh, you're going to get kidnapped. You're going to die. You're listen. It, there are ways to avoid those sort of things. And quite honestly, you're not going to die, especially with these text messages. Just be mindful of what's being sent to you. Don't think it's going to be like, if I click on it, someone's going to come and kidnap me and rape me and kill me. That's not how this works. The reason I'm telling you it's because it's something that's been happening in the news recently. How to avoid these things? Simple. Like we did in the last video, we delete these things. Matter of fact, put it on a block list. If it seems that suspicious to you, 
You can simply even contact your service providers or report the number in general. There are many ways of dealing with these sort of things. I might be leaving a few things out, but primarily we'll look at the three top things you can do. Delete it as my favorite. Report it to your service provider, to a um, authorized, you know, user that actually handles these sort of things. Again, you can look these things up. They're all over. And the last one, simple. Ignore them or just go back to the first one. Delete it. Let's look at it. The third one is to go back to those uh, those first two and uh, figure it out. If you want to troll these sort of users, again, do that at your own risk, but be uh, cautious of what you do. There are many ways of going about that. If you guys want to see that, let me know. I might do that in a stream or a video one day with you guys. But uh, l l let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Quite honestly, have you been a victim of this? Have uh, Has this happened to you? And quite honestly, if this is the sort of thing that uh, you've been worried about, again, don't freak out. If it's not happened to you, don't freak out about it. Obviously, you're not going to be the next one kidnapped. Again, it's not. this video is not supposed to be that way. Parents, kids, family, everybody out there, understand this video is here to inform you of what are potential things that could happen. A lot of the time, you're not going to get kidnapped. And most likely, it's not going to happen. That's just a very small percentage. But the ones I've played with in the past, I've noticed it's been pinging a number, it's been pinging a device, and I noticed it will trace back to what your number is. It's essentially, it's just a small little malware built into your phone. And they scam you into clicking on it. Just like everything else on the internet, everything has a price to pay. And quite honestly, you just need to be more mindful of what you click on. I know I've been repeating that like 20 times by now, but uh, ladies and gentlemen, I think that's going to wrap it up for this video today. If you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe, and dislike it if you dislike it. If this was informative to you, please leave a like. Let me know what you guys think in the comment below. What other scans would you guys want to see? This one was just a little bit too close to home, literally too fucking close to home, where it's kind of sickening and at the same, no, it is sickening. And quite honestly, I don't want any of you get becoming a victim at the end of the day. Love you all out there, and I hope you guys enjoy what you saw. This is me, Alex, and I'm going to see you guys in the next week's scam video. Have a wonderful day.